In the following demonstration, I will create a simple mapping that reads data from the Salesforce Opportunity Object and based on the value of the amount field, writes the data to two separate flat files, one for high value opportunities and one for lower value opportunities. Okay, in this demonstration, I will create a simple mapping that reads data from the Salesforce Opportunity Object and then based on the value of the in the amount field, we'll write data to two separate flat files, one for high value opportunities and then one for lower value opportunities. So this information can then be disseminated to uh, separate teams for further analysis. So to create the mapping, I'm going to go under Design Mappings. And once you create your mapping, uh, you'll be taken to the Mapping Designer and this top section here, this blank section, is what we would call your canvas and then over on the left are all the transformation shapes that you will drag and drop out onto the canvas. Uh, also just to give you a further tour here at the bottom is the properties panel so right now it's displaying the properties for the overall mapping but that is where I'll update my um, properties for each of the transformations and I can minimize this properties panel. I can maximize it, which can be helpful when you're doing your field mapping, for example, on a target transformation, or you can make it split screen. All right, so to start, I'm going to drag and drop a source transformation onto my canvas, and I'll name my source, and then specify my source details. My connection, make this a little bit bigger here, and I'll just select my opportunity object. Next I'm going to uh, drag and drop a f my first filter, and I'll connect my source transformation to my filter transformation and I'll name my filter high value ops or high value filter. And under the filter tab you have the option to create simple or advanced filter condition or you can param parameterize the filter condition which we'll talk about a little bit later. So I'll just create a simple filter condition based on the amount. And I'll go ahead and save and continue. And you can see that the status in the upper right corner is invalid. And just to give you an example of how you might use the property, the validation panel, I can expose that and click on the um, the error and you can see that the mapping does not have a target so obviously I need I do need a target to be able to save this mapping so I'll add my first target and I'll specify the flat file connection where I'll write this flat file that I'm going to create. And under the select, I'm actually going to create a new file at runtime. I could select an existing flat file if I have one, or I could create a new one. This option is available in the data synchronization task wizard as well. Save and continue. And now you can see my status is valid, so I could save and run this mapping, but I'm going to add another filter and target.
All right, so I've added my second target and saved and uh, my mapping is valid. So now what I can do is I can actually save and run this mapping or I can save and create a new mapping configuration task, but we'll do that in a later module. So now I'm going to save and run. So I do need to specify the runtime environment that is applicable to this mapping. So um, Salesforce is obviously a SAS connection, but these two targets are writing to a flat file connection. So I want to select the agent that is used by those connections. Alright, so my task is completed successfully with seven success rows and if I drill down into that I can see that five rows were written to the high value ops file and two to the low value opportunities file.